the woke decision by the BBC, but is it the right decision concerning our British monarchy? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Now, the sign behind me that you can see really needs no introduction, simply because it's one of the most famous detectives in the world. It's elementary, obviously. We're talking Sherlock Holmes. Now, this is the Sherlock Holmes public house. And basically, the public house is fictional, obviously. But if you read in the books, this is the area that Holmes and Watson did come along for a small beverage as they solved crimes all across this great city of London. Perhaps they could have even solved this particular crime that was undertaken by the BBC. Now, moving along with this particular story, we all now know the backstory to how the unfortunate incident occurred with the late, great Princess Diana. It's interesting, of course, because Diana, as you know, decided to take that particular interview with the disgraced journalist Martin Bashir, now we know, with false documents and all sorts of things that were contrived against her. It's such a sad situation, but now it's evolved. As we told you here first on the show, we all felt, and basically the mood across the United Kingdom was that, Mr Bashir should in fact pay some damages to Earl Spencer and the British royal family. But once again, it's down to the British public to foot the bill. Now, the BBC have decided to donate, and we'd love that phrase, donate, 1.7 million to a charity of the choice from senior members of the British royals. It's really upset people over here across the United Kingdom simply because they're donating nothing. Now, what the general public really want to know is what heads will roll within the BBC, senior heads, people that are still employed by them now, who undertook and assisted in this particular interview. People talk about it being groundbreaking. It wasn't groundbreaking at all. It ruined many lives, cost a lot of money, and is still costing today. A lot of people seriously want to know what has become of Mr Bashir? Why is he not digging in those very deep pockets that have made him become a multi-millionaire riding on the back of this unfortunate and disgraceful interview? Neil Sean in the heart of London.